I reached out to the principal, the school board, the officer at the school, um, everyone. I spoke to four different people on different occasions. I was dismissed completely, and my sons lay there and died right across there, and I seen them. The day after he was killed, Amani Smith's parents told me his death could have been avoided. This lawsuit filed by a former Holmes High School teacher says the same thing. Morgan Gilvin says she was forced to resign last month after suffering severe emotional distress. Gilvin says several incidents at the school made her feel unsafe. Many of the challenges, she says, were preventable. The lawsuit, which names several people within the school's leadership team, including principals and the superintendent, claims Gilvin reported threats and scary behaviors and nothing was done. The suit claims one of those incidents led up to the death of Amani Smith. The teacher claims she reported threatening behavior in her classroom by a student involved in Smith's killing several times. She claims in the days before Smith's death, she reported that student threatening to smack another student. She says nothing was done until it actually happened and he was suspended. When he returned to school, she says the student told her that Smith's older brother would be, quote, begging me not to hurt him. She reported that to an assistant principal who then met with the suspect and sent him back to class. The teacher claims she made another report because the issue still wasn't resolved. She says that assistant principal told her another member of the leadership team said, quote, let them beat the crap out of each other. On the day of Smith's murder, the teacher says the suspect left her class early, telling her he was, quote, going to handle business. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.